I attended a meeting last Friday in St Paul's Church in Whitesill. Over two-thirds of my parish councils were represented there. The issue they came to discuss was speeding. Speeding is probably the biggest issue I have in terms of post bag, outside of all the individual issues that we all face from uh, as uh, members of Parliament. People came to express their concerns, but I was also greatly indebted to my friend Charles Pedrick, who's done more than anyone I know in the area, to highlight the issue of what to do about speeding. And he organised the meeting with the support of Martin Searle, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Gloucestershire, who has put his money where his mouth is. He's partly paid for two ANPR uh, cameras, one in White Hill, which is why we were there, and the other one in Robborough. And what those cameras have demonstrated is that people in the main are law-abiding. But those who break the law break the law in a hideous way, driving 70 miles an hour through a 30 mile an hour limit. Is it possible we could use that data more proactively so that we can catch out these people? It's not just people, of course. It's cows and it's horses. I have a number of comments. Every year when the cows are put out, we lose about 12 animals, not down. Now, it's not just about knocking down an animal. It's a hideous has a hideous impact on the, farmers, on the farmers who have to pick up the beast, who often lose out financially, and there is very little that can be done about the perpetrators. Is there something more we can do to follow up on those individuals who've had accidents and have caused all this disruption? The last thing is a request from the meeting that I attended to look at those traffic regulation orders in terms of villages can we have a way in which you can make them more composite so that you're not having to have each village paying quite a large sum of money to get the TRO, to get the speed down to 20 miles an hour, which is largely recognised what villages need.